Hi there, I'm Miles Fisher from HiView, a Google Cloud partner, here with some information about how to work with Microsoft Office files and Google Drive. So we'll start by how this workflow um, looks just from the web interface, which is quite clunky. And then we'll talk about Google Drive file stream, which is the most effective way of working with your Microsoft Office files like Excel, Word, and PowerPoint and storing those in the Google Drive service. Let's get into Google Drive file stream. So, Google Drive file stream is the most effective way of working with Microsoft Office files within the Google Drive service. So for background, I have the Google Drive service pulled up here. I'm logged into my G Suite account. I'm open at drive.google.com. And let's start by clicking into one of my team drives within my company. And I'll show you how working in a Excel file is when you just have the web interface. So here's an Excel file right here. If I double click on this file, you'll see I'm given a quick table of data, a view of this table of data. And in order to open, there's this open with button, but this actually will convert my document into a Google Sheet. So I don't actually want to do that. Um, I actually will need to press download here in the top right hand corner here. And this will actually allow me to save a copy of this file to my local computer. I can then make changes, go ahead and save in Excel. Now I need to take that file that's stored on my desktop and take this and drag it and reload it into the Google Drive, into the Google Drive service. So here clicking and dragging and now I'm finally uploading that new version and then you'll see here there's been two versions identified so it's simply uploaded onto this original file and if I right click and select manage versions you'll see here it's uploaded that new version at 439 from the last one at 428. So that's what it looks like to work with Microsoft Office files and drive from the web interface. Not ideal, it takes way too much time to be realistic. So, the best way to operate is to use Google Drive File Stream. Google Drive File Stream can be downloaded by selecting the settings icon and simply clicking Download Drive File Stream. Once you download the Google Drive Sync application um, and log in with your G Suite account, you will get a mirror of all your Google Drive files uh, and folders directly on your computer. So Google Drive file stream out of the box simply streams the file and folder names to my computer, not the files and folders themselves. So if I open up my team drives, which might have several terabytes of data, and you can see each of them here, um, only these file and folder names are downloaded. If you did want to download a specific folder or file, you would want to right click on that folder, and under Drive File Stream, select Available Offline versus Online Only, for instance. That's how you can ensure that that data has been pulled down to your local machine. So let's go ahead and open up that same Excel file that we were just working on a few minutes ago, but this time from File Stream. In this instance, I'm simply double clicking. You'll see the program uh, Excel on my Mac automatically uploads and opens, excuse me, not up uploads, but opens this. Google, uh, excuse me, this Excel file, and I'm making changes here, and I'm clicking Save. Um, now, automatically, when I click Save, you can see the Google Drive file stream sync client has been activated, and it's actively syncing a new file, a new version of this Excel file, to my Google Drive service. After a few seconds, that's completed, and you can see the updated timestamp of 441. And if I navigate back to my web interface, you'll see that's been updated as well. So, much more efficient way of working. If you're a heavy Microsoft Office and, and Excel user, you could just work from Excel or Word or PowerPoint and just save as and just select Google Drive File Stream as your save to location right here. And you could save into your appropriate team drive as you like and work as normal. 
Um, and then keep in mind, you have the added benefit of whatever, whenever you click save, it will automatically save an updated version of that file into your Google Drive service. So that's a quick overview of Google Drive file stream. Thanks for watching.